Hi there. I am going to show you a little bit about using CoWriter on a Chromebook or a desktop. And so the first thing we want to do is check to see where CoWriter is. So the little icon for CoWriter is a little blue cloud that would normally appear on the top here. But if you have lots of extensions, you'll need to click on this icon, which is your extensions icon. It's like a gray amoeba shape. And come down here and you should see CoWriter somewhere if you have requested it. Uh, go ahead and click on it. When you click on it, you'll see that you need to just toggle on CoWriter and it turns blue. You see up here, now it shows. And this is a series of important options for you that we'll come back to. Uh, you can create a topic from a web page of any sort, including a Google Doc. And you can also select text and create a topic. Um, these topics become topic dictionaries that you then activate uh, to help with very specific word prediction. We're first going to look at options, however, because the first thing that you uh, want to do with yourself or your student is look at the various options to create uh, the right environment for you. You get to change the type size, the text color, the background color, uh, the type of font. This is important because uh, each student is different and the, these settings really can impact their success with viewing easily the various choices that are offered to them. Up at the top here, number of guesses, that is how many uh, word predictive options are shown to a user uh, to choose from as they type. I'm going to select nine, keep it that way. Uh, the section down here is the prediction voice settings, and you could change the voice. There are a variety of options. Pick one until you find one that uh, is best for you. You can have words spoken, sentences, and then when you put a period at the end of a sentence, you'll get the entire sentence spoken. If you delete the period and put it back in, it will once again read the entire sentence. You can change volume, speed, pitch. Now, as it's reading and speaking, sorry, as it's speaking, uh, the sentence will be highlighted and you can change the highlight text color and the highlight background color. So once again, these are all very important options to experiment with. On the left-hand side is where you can search for a topic, an existing topic. Um, we'll just put in um, cloud formations. I think I might have already done this. Oh, I did. And you get a variety of results. Uh, you can put in any other topic here. Let's see climate change and choose from these options and you'll have that particular topic added for you. So I'll just, I'll just put uh, climate change in agriculture. So that's going to be more specific. The more specific you are, the more specific your vocabulary will be. And you toggle these on and off as needed. So it's important to toggle them off when you're done talking about a specific topic. Otherwise, very strange choices start to come up that um, you would normally not use in, in regular uh, correspondence or regular kind of everyday writing. OK, so I'm going to stop this short video. And we're going to take a look at how CoWriter works when you're on a page in the next session.